Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of mine. I think we're going on video like eight, nine, or ten. I don't know, in that ball pal arc. So, woohoo, woohoo, go us. Thank you guys for watching me, all 16 of you. If you like what you see, please subscribe. It means so much to me. Today I'm gonna record stuff that I've bought to entertain myself during quarantine. And surprisingly, it's a lot. <laughs> it's weird because I don't even leave my house before quarantine. So why am I buying so many things to entertain myself now? Like you would assume I would just keep watching TV like always, but I have watched TV significantly less since being on lockdown. I'm doing something right. So I hope you guys like these recommendations. Actually, I got this package today. I'm pretty sure sure it's my coloring book Let me, i don't have any nails quarantine nails sad r.i.p right fun fact about me i love the smell of books that smells really good wow it's incredible this is really cool so i bought myself this color by number book because i'm 12 years old but it said it was for adults so i'll show you an example i haven't colored anything yet but like here's an example page it's all sea life. I think that'll be really fun. And then to go with my coloring book, I actually bought myself some colored pencils. I look like a professional, are you ready? I don't want them all to fall out. Yeah, it came with 72 colored pencils as well as a case, a sharpener, an eraser, a color pencil extender so it's easier to hold once the pencils turn into little chubs. This is the brand. Marco Raffine Fine Art 72. They have really good reviews, which is why I got them because I don't know anything about colored pencils. I used them for a coloring book I already owned and pretty soft, pretty good pencils. You know, a lot of color payoff, so I'm happy. 72 colored pencils and I think this plus the case and all that stuff I talked about was like 30 bucks, so not bad. The main thing that's been keeping me occupied is my Switch, <laughs> so. I got a Nintendo Switch Lite. It is my baby, my prized possession. I play this many hours a day, many hours when I should not be playing this a day. And the only game I have for it, and the reason I got it is Animal Crossing because I'm an OG Animal Crossing gal, okay? I had the original Animal Crossing from like Nintendo DS days. And in the last three years, I was playing Animal Crossing on my phone. It was like a lighter version. Basically just set up your campsite and you get to decorate it, but it's not as many features as an Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's amazing. I love it. This is the best purchase of my life. <laughs> I was going to wait to get the like, the big one, you know, the original OG Switch, but it was out of stock everywhere and I just couldn't wait anymore. So I got the light. And to be honest, I have not regretted it once because for me, I'm not gonna be streaming on the TV. I'm only playing by myself on the console, so I'm happy with my decision. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys my island. I don't have like a streaming card, so it's just gonna be gangster or ratchet, and I'm just gonna show you in the camera. So here's my Animal Crossing. I'm gonna show you guys overview what I got going on. Here's my bedroom. My favorite part is my walls, because I got like, you know, city view. Then you go over here, and this is my bathroom. Yep. Okay, this room is not complete by any means. This is kind of like my, my hobby room. So I have like a writing desk, a bookshelf, a couch, pull-up bar. And the last room I got is my kitchen. So this is my kitchen. There it is. Beautiful. Then I was gonna show you the highlights of my island. So this is my front yard. A museum over there behind and I got a little pool set up lifeguards this is like the little waiting area for people who get out of um, the airport here is Nook's shop I have a little seating outside of there and also outside of the clothing store and then behind Nook's I have a cat diner so it's hard to tell, but I have, I have like a cat tower, then I have two seatings, and then I have some cat grass, you know? I just started working on my apple orchard or like my orchard, so I'm gonna have a bunch of ferns over here to chill. And I have all my fruit trees over here. I don't know what's gonna be over here yet. And then over here, my vision is to have like a Japanese little tea garden. So that's a work in progress. 
Over here, this is like my neighborhood, so this is where all my houses are. There's Olive, hey Olive. Up this ramp is my little carnival. So I have bingo, I have popcorn machine, I have a cotton candy machine, I have two rides, and then I have a fortune teller. And that's my island. I'll keep you guys updated as I go from a three star to a five star island. You know, that's my goal. We'll see how long it takes me to get there. Woohoo! The best card game in the whole world, Monopoly Deal. I played this with just Matt. I played this with me, Matt, and both my parents. Phenomenal game. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's Monopoly condensed down to 15 minutes and to win, you need to get three full sets of properties. Property, a full set being like a full set of red, green, pink, whatever. All I can say is buy it and see it for yourself. It was like eight bucks on Amazon and the best purchase besides my Switch that I've made. Whitney Simmons recommended this and my girl's never wrong. Next in line, I bought three board games. I've played all three of these board games with Matt and my parents as well. So Clue, Lost in Las Vegas. It's the OG Clue, but it has like a hangover twist. So Buddy goes missing in Las Vegas and you guys need to figure out who Buddy was with, where he was and what he was doing when he got lost so you can find him and locate him so you don't miss your flight home from Vegas. The game, same concept. And then Monopoly, come on. We all know what Monopoly is. I didn't have a Monopoly with all the parts in place, so I bought another Monopoly. And then Risk. That was my dad's idea. He wanted Risk and I just got it for the family and we played it. It was fun. My dad killed all of us who beat all of us by a landslide. Basically a game where each person has like their army and it's a map of the world and you're trying to infiltrate the whole map of the world until it's all yours. I guess the game's fun for anybody, it's just not my favorite. My personal favorite is the card game I showed you followed by the real Monopoly. So I got three board games. And then honorable mention, actually not honorable mention, candles are so important. You just wanna be all cozy during quarantine. Bath and Body Work candles are the best. So I got pineapple colada. So this, the notes are frozen pineapple, fluffy whipped cream, fresh orange, and vanilla. It just smells like, it smells like a pina colada. and. Honestly, amazing. And the other candle I got is just OG, original, vanilla bean. You know, this is a classic. Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, and fresh steamed milk. It's so sweet. I love sweet scents, so if you don't like that, this isn't for you, but it's a great candle. And then the third candle I got, watermelon lemonade. Also, I like this top, it's like ceramic, so you can use it as like a coaster. This smells like fruity dreams. So if you're a fruity scent kind of person, this is for you. The notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, Meyer lemon with essential oils and <laughs> I'm having issues, but yeah, those are the three candles I got. I'm burning them constantly. We're all at home. We need to have cozy vibes with us while we're working from home or just chilling at home because we don't have a job anymore and candles make everything better. Bath and Body Works has the best three wicks. Wait till there's a sale, there's always a sale. We've reached the last category, the makeup category. So it just so happens, Sephora VIB sale is happening right now. And I had to get myself stuff, okay? So I got myself the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. It has a nice applicator, it makes it easy to apply. So I already have the night sleeping mask from Laneige. So I just wanted that to reapply throughout the day because I have crusty ass lips. Pretty good. Why did my light turn off? My light just died on me, so I'm trying to make this quick. So the last two things I got from Sephora, I only got three things in total, is the Charlotte Tilbury Air Flush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Yeah, for an all over perfecting finish. Brush off to into, okay. But yeah, it's their setting powder. Good powder, nice for setting the under eyes. I'm happy with it. I also, I've been thinking about getting a Pat McGrath's palette for a while and I finally just bit the bullet because I got it for 20% off. It's 125 usually, do the math. It was still expensive for 20% off, but honestly, it's so beautiful and I can't wait to use it. And I'm gonna include a little snippet of me doing my makeup with it. Packaging alone, pretty dang good. So, it comes like this. Then you unwrap it and then Beautiful.
gorgeous. So, I got the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 6 this is. So, I love it. It's so pretty. It feels expensive. Just listen to that. Listen to that snap. It's like, whew, just gets me going. It's very heavy and very nice and I'm impressed based off the packaging, but I'm sure I'll be impressed based off the formula as well. So I'm excited. sparkly than I thought they would be, which was kind of disappointing. I wish they had more pigment to them. Instead, they kind of just have like a clear base and then gold sparkles, champagne sparkles. I'm excited to use it some more. The actual last thing I bought were these shorts from Abercrombie. They're just some lounging shorts. They have nice pockets, drawstring that's adjustable, and they're great for just chilling out at home or you can wear them out and about. So they're super good. I got them 50% off. Plus I got $10 off because I had a credit rewards money. So I got them for five bucks. Super cute. Go Abercrombie. Yeah, that's everything I've purchased during quarantine. I'm super happy with everything I've purchased. I hope you guys take some notes from it, get some stuff for yourself. If not, walking outside is free and it always does the job i mean i always have fun working walking outside so other than these things i've been doing a lot of walks with my dog sammy watching tv sitting on the deck chilling out but yeah i feel like we're all going back to like the olden days <laughs> okay it was like 10 years ago kids are outside playing with chalk in the streets and let's just try to find the silver lining of COVID. But once again, thank you all of you guys who are essential workers who are still going to work. I appreciate you. And for the rest of us, let's just stay home, flatten the curve and get this thing over with, okay? And I hope you guys liked my things that I've bought during COVID. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe because it means a lot for me and let me know what you want to see. We will all get through this together, okay? Bye, haters. <laughs>